Hi Libra, welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing well. We're gonna do your reading here in a moment. Just a couple things here before we get started. Um, everything you need to know is in the description box. There will be an extended reading link below. If this reading resonates with you, you can check it out. May not resonate with everybody out there. Uh, also, I am giving away one free personal reading uh, each month. To enter my giveaway, you just need to be a subscriber, uh, give the video a like, and leave a comment, all right? I will pick one random winner at uh, the beginning of each month, actually, so July, July's winner will be picked this week, okay, depending on when you watch the video. So with that, uh, Libra, let's just get started here with your reading. We're going to do past, present, future energy. We'll clarify um, and we'll look at potential challenges. And with that, let's get started here with your reading. All right. Let's get the energy here for Libra. Energy here for Libra. Okay. So we have firm foundation. We have hope and we have power. Okay, strong Leo energy there. Okay, so Libra, let's uh, pull your tarot now. Let's see how this relates to your messages. Okay. Your cards. <clears throat> All right. Thank you, Angel Spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Libra? Libra, past, present, future. What's the energy here for Libra? Show Libra what they need to know. Okay. <clears throat> okay, we have the Three of Swords with the Five of Cups. We have the Knight of Cups. We have the Three of Pentacles. We have the King of Wands. We have the Nine of Pentacles. We have the King of Pentacles. We have the Justice card. There's your energy. And we have the Queen of Cups. Okay. Bottom of the deck here we have the Death, Rebirth card. We have Strong Scorpio energy. Okay. I definitely feel like there's uh, there's hope here in your situation. You have firm foundation here. Okay, you have the Three of Swords, you have the Five of Cups, and you have the Knight of Cups. Okay, I feel like there was some sort of love offer here, Libra, that uh, either someone disappointed you, and I'm going to say it doesn't have to be love. This can be around career, money, some sort of offer here maybe you were looking for. Okay, it does feel like there was some sort of disappointment here, right? With this Five of Cups and the Three of Swords, it looks like there was some sort of hurt or loss here in the situation. We're going to clarify uh, this Knight of Cups energy. We're going to see what that's all about. Um, but there was definitely lack of stability here, okay? I feel whatever this offer was that you were looking for, it looks like you were looking for something more stable, something more secure. And it feels like something didn't um, get to that point, okay? Like I said, could be around relationship, job, right? Could be around a promotion, right? Hoping, um, you know, maybe a bonus, something like that, okay? You have here in your current energy, you have the Nine of Pentacles, the King of Wands, and you have the Three of Pentacles with the hope card okay this is showing me that there's still hope here in the situation okay you have the three of pentacles there you can see there's somebody there that's disappointed there's somebody standing behind this person okay i feel uh libra there's something here that's about to change something here i feel um where Somebody who may have disappointed you, and it can be anybody here in your life. Like I said, it could be around work, career, family, right? A friend, uh, a love situation. I know a lot of you, it's going to be love. There's somebody here, this King of Wands energy. Could be an Aries, a Leo, Sagittarius. We also have here Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo energy. 
And we also have your Cancer, uh, Strong Scorpio, and Pisces. Now you have the Power card here, okay? And I feel here, Libra, um, there's an energy where I feel, because the Power card can be that energy here of forgiveness okay not just control here but also forgiveness here i feel like you've got somebody here who wants to make things right with you it's showing me here with the three of pentacles the knight of pentacles i feel like somebody here that disappointed you where you received some sort of disappointing news i'm going to say or an offer that you were hoping for didn't come through I feel like there is some sort of message here that's coming through to you, okay, with this Knight of Pentacles. Now, I'm going to say this also can represent change, right? It could be, right, you're moving on from this situation, you're healing, right? Uh, you're disappointed, but you're moving on. This can be, we're going to clarify this Knight of Pentacles, we're going to see who that is. Uh, it can be a change that you're looking for. You've got justice here, your energy. So some of you, I feel here, there could be somebody here that may give you an apology, maybe wanting to express something to you, all right, and uh, you have the Queen of Cups, okay? Some of you, this is an expression of love coming towards you is what I get here. And for some of you, I feel here, this is, you know, just a change here where you're going to feel good emotionally, right? By forgiving and letting go of a situation. Now, upcoming here, <clears throat> excuse me, it does show here with the Death card and the Ace of Swords, there is some sort of breakthrough here that's about to happen for you, all right? Could be communication here. It could be you moving on from a situation but let's do some clarifying and we're going to see where this goes okay so let's start with this knight of cups all right thank you angels and spirit for your guidance why is the knight of cups here please why is the knight of cups here please all right we have here the tower we have the hierophant and we have the three of cups okay it feels like, and we have judgment on the bottom of the deck here, okay? Definitely shows me here a past situation. There was something here that was unexpected here. It feels like a situation didn't come together between you and whatever this offer represents to you. There, It feels like it never got right to that firm foundation. The foundation uh, definitely was broken here. You have the Hierophant and the Three of Cups. You have the strong Taurus energy here as well. I feel that this could have been around, some of you could be reconciliation um, around a marriage. It could be, uh, you know, building a foundation between you and somebody here around a relationship. Okay, I'm going to say for some of you, this could be definitely a third party situation with that three of swords and this three of cups here. Something happened that broke the foundation between you and whatever this offer offer was. Okay, um, I'm going to say here too, um, this this is also divine intervention. So I'm going to say if you were expecting some other some offer here, you know, whether it was love, career, whatever the situation, the universe was telling you here, you know, either it was not the right timing here or it was not meant for you at that time. Okay. That's why it didn't work out. You have judgment here and you also have uh, the emperor. Okay. So it definitely shows me here, this was a situation that you couldn't control. I'm also getting here too, this is a situation, there may have been, right, a life lesson here, right? There may have been something here that you needed to learn through this situation to put you where you are meant to be. And actually I was picking up the deck and look what fell out here, the two of cups. So some of you, this is around a strong uh, soulmate connection that you are dealing with. Now, in your current energy, we have the Three of Pentacles, the King of Wands, and the Nine of Pentacles. This is where I'm seeing there is definitely some hope here. We got the King of Wands. It feels like there is somebody taking action towards you. But let's see what this King of Wands is. Why is the King of Wands here, please? Why is the King of Wands here, please? 
Okay, we have the Two of Wands, we have the Page of Pentacles, and we have the Queen of Wands. Look at that, we have the King and the Queen of Wands, and we also have the Ace of Cups. Okay, so what I'm gonna say, Libra, something I hear, okay, something's coming back bigger and better. <laughs> Interesting words that Spirit is giving me. Bigger and better is what I'm getting here with this Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups for me can be a yes card or can be um, a wish card, okay? So I feel here, I feel somebody here is taking action here. There's some sort of bigger offer here, okay? So there was an offer here, right? This Knight of Cups energy that I'm getting and I feel like it didn't happen for you. It didn't quite reach the point where you wanted it to go, right? Something solid, something stable there. Uh, I'm gonna say, also could be somebody here in the situation, right? This person you were dealing with maybe didn't have enough backbone, okay? I always see that firm foundation as somebody maybe, you know, in relation to the cards here, right? Somebody who has backbone, but in this case, I feel like somebody did it. Now, there's a bigger, better offer <laughs> that uh, Spirit gave me here, that message. And I feel like there is um, this person here, okay? Some of you, I feel here, this could be a new love coming into your life or a new offer coming into your life, all right? Even though you're disappointed about this other situation, right? Maybe you're still focused on it. Maybe you're still thinking about it. For some of you, I feel like this could be somebody, right, that you dealt with that is returning here, okay? Somebody here who's had some time to really think about things, think about the future here, and has had to make a decision. I see a message of good news coming in for you. That's why the hope card is there. Something is working out when, you know, after a period of time where I feel things were very disappointing here, right? Bigger, better offer I see coming in for you. All right now you have the nine of pentacles which is really nice energy so if this is around career money here this could be something really stable coming into your life okay um you know maybe this is you know this could be a bonus right or a little raise here you know maybe the the past energy here you were hoping for a raise or a bonus and it just never came through um some of you i feel here too Right, this could be a financial, this is your financial situation, right? Standing in your abundance here. And so it could be something quite prosperous for you. Uh, maybe give you a little bit, um, it's a very independent energy. Uh, some of you, this could be um, an offer uh, working from home um, or something where you have a little bit more I'm just going to say uh, freedom in your job, you know, a little bit more independent role I get as well. All right. So, and some of you, right, this is an offer of love I feel here that's coming through. Let's see why the Nine of Pentacles is here, please. Okay. We have the Four of Wands. We have the King of Swords. Look at that. And the emperor. Yeah. Some of you are going to get communication here from a boss, right? Or some of you may even uh, be starting your own uh, side business here. Bottom of the deck here, you have the hermit, strong Virgo energy. So a situation I feel where maybe you've had to take some time to yourself, right? With this hermit energy and look at this, the ace of pentacles. Or this could be somebody that you're dealing with. Look at that. Another bigger, better offer. <laughs> bigger, better offer here, okay? With this Ace of Pentacles, okay? So like I said with this Tower card, something here wasn't meant for you, right? Because either it wasn't working or there was something bigger, better for you, all right? I, I, I feel funny saying that, okay? Uh, Nine of Pentacles here, you have the Four of Wands and the King of Swords, okay? Clarifying the energy. There is some sort of communication that is coming your way. Uh, some of you, you know, if you're starting a business or you're thinking about doing a side business, this is telling you that uh, you're gonna be quite clear about this. You may be, become your own boss. It's definitely something with this Four of Wands that's going to bring you stability, all right? We saw the Ace of Cups and we saw the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel that it's something that 
um, you will be able to make money, feel fulfilled, and feel secure about your future. Now, it may start out as, as a side business, I'm just going to say, right, if you don't have the ability to do it full time. For others, I feel here in a love situation, there's communication that's coming from someone here. Somebody here is taking action. We're going to see with the justice card because this could be somebody returning with an apology. For some of you, this just could be the change you've been looking for and there's somebody new coming into your life. You take it how it resonates with you. Everybody's in a different phase of their life well, you know, when it comes to love. Okay, so let's see here. Um, Let's see here why. We're going to clarify the Knight of Pentacles and the Justice card. Let's do both. Why is the Knight of Pentacles and the Justice card here, please? Why is the Knight of Pentacles and the Justice card here, please? Okay, we have the Ten of Wands. We have the Seven of Swords. We have the Six of Pentacles. And we have the Four of Cups, okay? Bottom of the deck here, we have the Five of Cups, all right? So remember, this is with the Power card, okay? Some of you, I feel this can also be, um, well, actually, I'm going to say here with this Power card, like I said, there could be some forgiveness that's needed in the situation. For some of you, this could be about, you know, your confidence, your strength, right maybe needing the courage for something here or it could be your person here okay if some of you are dealing with a particular person you have the ten of wands and you have the seven of swords the six of pentacles and the four of cups so i do feel like you have somebody coming towards you coming towards you with some sort of offer here right there's that ace of cups now, it can also just signify, right, the universe is bringing you some sort of new offer, new opportunity in your life. There is definitely some sort of hesitation here, right? You're not too sure about this change in your life here, all right? Maybe you're struggling, maybe you're struggling, right, how to um, do things differently, right, when it comes to, you know, career or whatever situation this is for you. For love here, I feel like uh, this could be somebody here that you know and, and you, you're hesitant because you're not too sure if things are going to change with this person is the energy that I get there, okay? Now, when it comes to love, it just can be that energy where you're not too sure, right, if I'm going to say you're ready for love, or maybe you've been dealing with people, you know, that have hurt you here and you're just kind of in that energy. I don't know if I want to put my time and energy towards that because I see disappointment, okay? But I also see here the sun card. So there's something here that's changing in your life that, that's bringing a lot of potential, okay? Potential here. And with this red, you know, cloak or cloth here, right? It's also bringing stability. Why I feel here, there's something changing here. And um, I'm just going to pull one more card here. You have the Seven of Pentacles. So this is about why right, you taking some time to reflect on things. Is this something that you want to invest your time and your energy into? Okay, whatever it is for you, career, money, love. And, you know, it could be both things going on in your life here. Let's clarify the Justice card. And then we'll pull um, some oracles and see if there's any challenges, right, or any additional messages there. Why is the justice card? And in the extended reading, if you're dealing with a particular person, I treat it like an almost personal reading. What they're thinking, feeling, their upcoming actions, their intentions, which will be key here, uh, love notes and guidance as well. Why is the justice card here, please? Okay, so we have the Two of Pentacles. We have, oh, I don't read reversals there, the Hangman and the Page of Wands. Okay, bottom of the deck. Oh, look what showed up. Three of Swords. So this Justice card is, I feel what's happening here, is the Justice can be about balancing the scales of karma, 
um, but it also can be somebody here trying to make things right here, right? From a past hurt, right? A lot of emotion here too with the moon card, right? Or this can be around, right? Getting some clarity here. Could be dealing with the Pisces or Cancerian. You have the Two of Pentacles, the Hangman, and you have the Page of Wands, all right? So I talked about balancing the, the scales of karma. It does feel with that Two of Pentacles that there was some sort of imbalance here in the past, okay? Some of you could be around juggling your money, your finances. Some of you, I feel here, you know, it can be around a relationship that was out of balance or on and off here. Um, but this is to weigh in your options. But what I really get here with this hangman and the page of wands, this change that I feel here is happening in your life is making you see things from a different perspective. I also feel here too with this hangman here, this can also be about releasing karma, okay? And so I feel like you're going to, with this page of wands, you're going to feel more optimistic about your situation. I do feel like there's communication here coming from someone. Um, I do feel like this could be a, a, a boss, an employer here, or could be, right, a love situation. <clears throat> and some of you, you may be becoming your own boss, right? Feeling more optimistic, right? Seeing things from a different light, a different perspective here, okay? So I feel like this is really positive here um, for you, Libra. So let's see what, uh, this is the Island Time Wellness cards, right? <laughs> uh, oracles, these are love oracles. So we're gonna see what the energy shows here, okay? So it could be a challenge or it could just be a message here. Let's see, lightnings. Oh, look at that, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, and transformation. Really nice energy right? I told you I feel like there's some sort of change here. You also have your coffee cup, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted in friendship. Yeah, there is some sort of message here, communication. Some of you may be meeting up with somebody, right? Could be a job situation, love situation, like I said. And I told you I feel here you're going to feel optimistic, okay? So whatever's happening, you're not expecting this change or this change to happen so quickly in your life is what I see here. Okay, you got the chaser. Chaser, codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues, okay? So you may be dealing with a situation where you feel that you've had to do the work in the situation, okay? I'm going to say stop doing that, <laughs> okay, Libra, right? Stop doing that because I see this person taking action towards you. Let this person do the work. Now, they could be the chaser, all right? So take the roles how they are meant for you, okay? We're going to close out the reading. I'm going to give you some, um, some guidance here from the Goddess Guidance Oracle deck. So let's see what messages we have here for Libra. Messages for Libra. Okay, look at that. Undying love. The love you have shared is eternal regardless of the situation. Okay, you take these how they apply to you. Oh my gosh, true love. <laughs> the romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. <clears throat> and compassion. Release judgments about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that is within everyone. Okay, so very interesting here. Uh, Libra, a lot of you, you know, this may be about love. Okay, there is forgiveness here that's needed too with this compassion card. All right, so Libra, I'm going to take it now to the extended. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.